hello guys i'm back yes 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 guys i am back it's been a few weeks but it has been a few weeks if you know what i'm saying okay so i am back for the month of june let's hop into it i'm getting ready to push you guys this readings out um this is going to be for the sun moon rising venus sign of pisces so if you have Pisces and your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, you can use this video, okay? So this is going to be a love reading for the sign of Pisces for the month of June, all right? So I'm debating on whether or not if I want to do weekly readings, it'll have to be after my move because I'm getting ready to move. So it'll have to be after my move, so... But it'll be soon if I do decide. I think I'm going to start doing weekly reads. Um, I know I can handle it. I've done it before. <laughs> but also, yeah, I want to also let you guys know, too, about the Energy Clearing Spray, guys. This is an amazing product, okay? You can utilize this, guys. If I know a lot of people were saying that they can't smudge. Um, so I decided to come up with an alternative to the smudging. And I came up with the energy clearing spray, okay? It has all of the energy clearing things that you need. Palo Santo, sage, uh, Florida water, clear quartz crystals. Like, it has a combination of a lot of different things to help clear your energy. It has a wonderful scent. You can use this in your office when you want to, you know, get rid of a little, you know, a little nasty energy. You know, you just spray them away. Yeah. Okay, yeah, get out of my office. <laughs> Yeah, get out of my way. <laughs> this is a quick little spray, and it gets the job done, okay? So, also, this is a good alternative, too, guys, for your car. If you have people, you know, in your car or whatever, especially for, like, my Uber drivers and things like that. Um, yeah, this is a great alternative, guys, to just spray and get rid of that energy, clear that energy. Like I said, it has a wonderful fragrance, and it's amazing. I use it for in my car when I'm around, you know, a crowded area, and I just want to just feel like, oh, shit, I need to cleanse. <laughs> let me get this. Let me cleanse. Squirt, 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 and I'm on my way, okay? This is an amazing product, guys. 20% off today on the website. The website information is in the drop box below, guys. Don't forget to grab your energy clearing spray. All right, so let's get into it for the month of June for my Pisces. What messages do we have for Pisces, please? All right, so we got a jumper here. We got a jumper. All right, the jumper is the Five of Swords. All right, Spirit is saying, stop right here. We're going to stop right here. We got the King of Swords. What's going on, Pisces? <laughs> What's going on? Who y'all having to cuss out? I feel like y'all changed your mind about something. Let's see what's going on. Because it looks like it's some... It looks like it's some BS going on. All right. Five of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. Oh, wow. The Fool. Wow. Somebody's starting arguments for attention. Somebody feels like they aren't getting any attention. Wow. Oh, wow. So, some of you could be dealing with a uh, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, a Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Gemini. We got the lovers here. I'm feeling like somebody's starting argument, starting drama, being petty because they want some attention. Okay, somebody's trying to get somebody's attention here. I, I'm getting a sense of I'm 
Let me. I want to clarify this five of swords. Let's see what this is about. Why? What's what is this? Why is the five of swords here? The Knight of Pentacles. Some of y'all are dealing with a Taurus or a Capricorn, but I'm just getting. There was somebody's changed their mind about how they feel. Okay, or somebody changed their mind and started something new. And here you guys are with this Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups. Somebody is saying that they may have other options and they're going forward with another option. Okay, tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, like somebody's disappointed here. Um, somebody's really disappointed about an offer. Okay, somebody's disappointed about an offer. And somebody, somebody here also feels like burning. You guys could be feeling like, nah, I'm, I don't put in too much. I've done too much. This, you can have this. You can have this. I'm burnt out, and I feel like this was a final decision. Okay, this was a final decision. So I feel like a lot of you have been, you know, being more creative, have been using, um, taking different avenues. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning, new start. Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But you guys are starting a new business venture or your focus is on your bag. I feel like some of y'all have gave up on a situation because you didn't get the offer that you wanted. You didn't get the offer that you wanted. Yeah, and I feel like some of y'all have either been waiting for this, waiting for this person, or you turned your back here on this situation. I feel like a lot of y'all have turned y'all back on this situation. I feel like you, you've been waiting for to see the growth of it, where is it going to go, and I feel like some of y'all were just disappointed because... You didn't get what you thought you were going to get out of the situation. Okay. Somebody here was definitely playing. You found out the truth about this person. That this person was definitely playing. Okay. Two of Pentacles and a Knight of Wands. They could have been living a double life. They could have been just going back and forth. Just playing a field and lying and cheating. Okay. Until that tower came out. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. But I feel like intuitively you knew, you knew, like, you had a feeling like, I don't know, I might regret this. Maybe I, I don't know. So, look, somebody walked away from this situation and closed that door. That chapter is closed. Some of you could have been saying, nah, 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 because this chapter is closed, okay? It is over with. It is done. Ten of Swords, it is done. That chapter and what was going on in that cycle is over. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? And the Queen of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Somebody here feels rejected. This is the challenge. But you feel, like I said, the High Priestess in the Tower. Like, I feel like you just see something coming. Or you're like, I knew that was going to happen. Or... I feel like you, you intuitively you you know you knew that this was going to end up like this because I feel like you know this person you know their behavior you know their traits you know their patterns. This could have been an ex because I feel like I'm getting that you know a lot about this person. Okay, so the Six of Wands is here. Somebody here, somebody here. <laughs> All right, so I feel like after this, this after this, this falling out, because I feel like you fought, you fell out with with this person. Um, after some type of disagreement and some argument, but I feel like you're moving forward peacefully. 
I'm getting like unbothered energy with this six of wands, chariot, and the temperance. I'm getting like unbothered energy. You could be dealing with a, a I'm sorry, a Cancer or a Sagittarius. But I'm just getting like unbothered energy. Like, okay, it is what it is. Why is the fool here? The Three of Cups. Some of y'all are starting to venture out. You're, you're dealing with new people. You got new friends. You got a new circle. Yeah, I feel like for some of you, this person could have been like a... I don't even want to say beggar, but they, they're they codependent. Like, maybe you were doing a lot in the relationship. You were the one holding the relationship together in the past. Because I got the Six of Cups and the King of Cups, Knight of Cups, lots of water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But we got the Judgment and the Ten of Wands. And like, it's like you're, you're looking back at this person. I feel like this is an ex. I feel like for some of you, this is an ex that came back around during the, the retrograde. I feel like you're reflecting on this situation and you feel like this situation was definitely a burden. Okay, a lot of conflict. And you trying to move you trying to move on from that. Yeah, you're definitely like you're done. You've closed that chapter. You don't even feel the same about this person. Somebody here is saying that all someone thinks about is money, like somebody's greedy and Somebody's greedy. Somebody feels like somebody's greedy. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Yeah, see, in the past, someone was portraying that they wanted to work on this because we got the Three of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So it looks like somebody was trying to build a relationship or work towards something. Teamwork. I'm hearing a lot of teamwork here. And I feel like this was the goal. This is what they were portraying. This was the plan. Okay. This was the plan. But I feel like this person was holding back. Holding back on purpose. Because this is what they had going on. They were juggling. They had two separate lives. They had one thing going on over here and one thing going on somewhere else. And they could have possibly been in a connection already. Possibly with a Leo here with the strength card and two of cups. But I feel like you may have known that this was going to happen. Like you just felt it. Like you just felt it. You know Pisces are intuitive. You just felt it. Like something don't feel right. Something don't feel right. But you know what? It is what it is. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. All right, somebody is afraid to apologize here. Um, I feel like somebody's afraid to apologize. There's also uh, thoughts of a separation or possibly a divorce, okay? Someone is like talking about paying for or going through a separation or paying for a divorce, but somebody is afraid to say it or somebody is like thinking about saying it. Yeah, because somebody here is feeling like they found someone new. So somebody is feeling like they got something new going on. This could be you. You know, you're ready to move forward, close this chapter, and start something new with someone else here. Um, and this is your chance at love, okay? Now we got the King of Pentacles here and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like for you, money is on your mind. Your finances, you're focused on your pentacle. I feel like this situation with this lying, cheating ass bastard is caused you enough strife, caused you enough headache, okay? It caused you enough headache. Um, so right now, I feel like you guys are focused on your pentacle, okay? You getting your bag up. You got bigger fish to fry. You starting businesses. You moving up in your in your uh, career. Like your focus is on your pentacle long term you looking at this you looking at some long money okay <laughs> like this somebody who real like you guys are 
are, this is the goal right here. This is the goal. Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who got some long money. Okay? Like, this is where I feel like a lot of you guys focus is at. I feel like a lot of you aren't even thinking about, like, if love comes along, cool. But right now, you're thinking about long term. Look at this. Emperor. Emperor, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This is real big daddy energy. Okay? <laughs> this is real big daddy energy. You hear me? You could be done with an Aries or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn. But this is big daddy energy, all right? Big mama, big daddy energy. Some of y'all starting businesses. Some of y'all are your own bosses. Like, yeah, that's that's that big energy right here. Financially, I feel like you guys are getting ready to step into a big financial blessing, okay? So this situation right here, that's old news. That's old news. Now, your person that you're dealing with, this person likes to play, manipulate, and play with people's feelings. Why is the King of Cups here? You could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, see, I'm feeling like they want to read. They want a reaction out of you. Are they regretting what they said? Yes. Five of Cups and the Eight of Wands. Yes. But they, I feel like they feel like they told you too much or they said too much and they know that this, that it's done. It's done. Here you are, Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But it's like, yeah, you just might as well. This person was real reckless with their words. And they might have said it to see how you were going to respond or react. But they said too much or they went to they took something too far. Why the hermit here? Could be dealing with the Virgo. This person could have been hiding their emotions or how they really truly feel. Six of Cups. This is an X. I feel like this is an X. Okay, so they're they're stuck on what what was going on in the past. What were the disagreements in the past? They're stuck on it. They're regretting and they wishing that they would have waited to say how they felt. But it was too late. It was too late. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? It's like, I heard what I needed to hear. I seen what I needed to see. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, like, this is going to make you stronger. This situation is going to, uh, this is a, I'm getting like a lesson learned. Like, I feel like a lot of you have learned your lesson. And I feel like you're stronger. You're stronger from this. Yeah, I feel like you're taking this and saying, on my next go round. On my next situation, I'm going to know when to leave. I'm going to know when to let things go. I'm going to know when to end a situation that's no longer serving me. Because I feel like you stayed too long in a situation that did not serve you. Okay, now let's get the outcome. It's the lover. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. And the moon. Wow. Why is the moon here? The magician. Ooh, there could be some spell work involved in this situation. For, for some of you, I feel like you're doing self-love rituals. I feel like for some of you, you're doing uh, rituals to attract new love. Because uh, I feel like some of you are, you know, like I said, you're focused on yourself. All right? And I feel like... This situation ended. You turned your back on this situation. And your focus is I feel like you want the bag. I feel like straight up, straight up and down, you want the bag. But I feel like for some of you, you may want to just reach out for someone for a good time. Nothing too serious. I feel like for some, like I said, for some, I feel like there's magic could be involved, some spell work could be involved here. And but I feel like for a lot, it's for a lot of people they're doing it. Uh, you know, for themselves, self-love rituals. If you want to attract a new lover, some of you are attracting new love. Why is the magician here? The world. 
Uh, somebody need to get their car fixed. I got my windows up. I don't know if y'all can hear that screeching sound. Why is the world here? And the Empress. And see, look at this. See, for like I said, a lot of you are focused on yourself. Like y'all getting dolled up. Y'all are doing beauty spells. You're working on yourself. Okay, I feel like a lot of y'all, y'all, this situation helped you catapult to the Empress level. Okay, so, you know, this, <laughs> some of y'all are just flat out tired of this person. Y'all just flat out tired of this shit. You're done. You wanted the truth anyway. You wanted the truth to come out so you can leave. You wanted this to come out, I feel like. And for some of you, you're married to this person. Okay, but the thing of it is, is some of y'all are already in the divorce process or a separation, and I feel like you're just over this. You're focused on the bag. You ain't got time. Ooh, they need to go on from around here with that squeaky car. What other messages are there for Pisces? Oh, no. That's just too many. <laughs> they just flew out. Yeah, see, some of y'all, we got children. Some of you could be dealing with this person. You could have a child or children with this person. But so a lot of y'all are putting that in the forefront, okay? Some of y'all are just out flirting. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all not sure if it's safe. It ain't that safe out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're trying to make sure that you got your guard up. You're not really going out there just... I feel like you're just flirting, okay? With, you know, just playing around to see what's out there. But, yeah, this situation that you were in was definitely unrequited. It was unrequited. There was not enough chemistry or balance to keep this keep that going no way, okay? One of y'all was doing way more than the other. The other one did not want to give, and they just want to take. It was already unrequited, so it wasn't going to last or work anyway, okay? But I do feel like you two may be uh, strongly attracted to each other. You both may be fine as hell, okay? There's still an attraction here, okay? But I feel like the situation was unrequited, okay? See, like I said, make the effort and let your friends help you. I feel like this being your focus, finances and career, this person, if this person wants to deal with you, they're going to have to come in and make the effort. I don't see you really extending. I feel like you've already done that in the past and you aren't willing to do that again at this point. Um, and I feel like you've been hanging out a lot with your friends, enjoying your freedom. Okay? I I just feel like the situation was unrequited. It was unrequited. All right, so that's the message that I have for my Pisces. If this message resonated, guys, be sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe with your family and your friends, guys. Don't forget to go over to the website, guys, and grab your energy clearance spray. All right, 20% off today. All of the information is on the website in the drop box below. All right, until next time, y'all. Ciao.